welcome back if you have been here before and welcome if you are new. My name's Becky and you're watching my channel Notes in the Sewing Room. Oh, you can probably see my Labrador just down here. He's picked up a little toy and he's come to say hi. Um, so today's video is all about eight different things that I've got to share with you that are easy, quick, simple projects that are perfect for summer. So do stay tuned and I'm going to tell you all about them. So as I said, I've got eight different projects to share with you in this video. So shortly I'm going to be heading upstairs in my house and I'm going to be putting on all of the different makes apart from one which I'm actually halfway through making but I'm going to be telling you all about that one as well. I am going to be putting all of the details for each of the projects that I'm talking about in the description box below so do check that out if you would like to find out any more information. You can probably just see my Labrador Bentley is just coming to join me. He can't um, he just he just loves to <laughs> be involved in my videos. Um, but yes, so stay tuned and um, I'm gonna tell you more. Many of the projects included in this video are things that I have loved to make. Uh, they've been quick, as I said, but also they've been really practical and I've just really, really enjoyed making them. So as much as a lot of the patterns are not new, they may be new to you if you haven't tried them before. So I do hope you enjoy what I've got to share with you. If you do enjoy today's video, I would love it if you could press that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please do feel free to leave me any comments below um, as I love to have a chat to you in the comment section. And also by liking, subscribing, commenting and all that stuff, it does help YouTube to know that you like this kind of video and it will help the um, algorithm or whatever to share this video with other people who also like sewing. So bear with me, I'm just gonna head upstairs. Hello, I'm back. So pattern number one that I wanted to share with you today is actually the top that I'm wearing and I've got two more versions to share with you today. So this is the Friday Pattern Company square neck top and I love it. It's literally one of my favorite t-shirts so I definitely recommend it to you. It can be made in woven fabrics or it can be made in jersey fabrics. So that's fantastic really, you've got lots of choice there. You can make it in sizes extra small through to XXL, so it's a good size range there. This is the first version uh, that I wanted to share with you today. So I've actually done a little bit of a hack on this one. So as you can see, we've got a little sweetheart neckline type thing on here. If you do follow me on Instagram, you can see a little real video on there of how I actually did that. So check that out if you want to. I'm gonna pop on my next version to share with you. This is actually one of my favorite versions and it's because I love the animal print fabric that it's in. And again, this is a jersey fabric. I've got actually a matching headband to match this one. I'm currently wearing it outside my skirt here, um, but if we do tuck it in, it also looks really nice. I just tuck this into my waistband here. Yes, I do really, really like this one. And I've also made a red version as well. One of the best things about this pattern, making it quick and simple, are that there's hardly any pattern pieces. So you've got two pieces, basically one for the front bodice, one for the back bodice. And then you've got a couple of facing pieces as well to literally finish off the neckline. So as I said, if you wanted to, you can make this in a woven fabric or in a jersey. So if you're making it in a jersey fabric, you may decide to use some stretch interfacing just to um, stabilize the neckline a little bit. Or of course, if you are using a woven fabric, you can use a woven interfacing instead. Either way, I think both tops are fantastic and you can make them in no time at all. You can have a little bit of fun doing some top stitching if you wanted to, just around the neckline here, and of course to finish off the sleeves and the hem. Now I'm five foot 10 and I think that this top is fine for me in terms of length, but depending on how uh, tall you are or how petite you are, um, you may decide that you wanted to change the length of the top or not. It does come up quite short, to be honest. I tend to wear quite a lot of high-waisted um, skirts and I wear um, this, this kind of thing under a dress, so it doesn't really matter in terms of the length, but um, you may decide that you want to add a little bit onto your project if you want to in terms of the length of the top, so do check that before you cut out your fabric. Project number two I wanted to share with you today is actually an old-ish pattern, but I really, really like it, so I wanted to share it with you and include it in my update today. So this is the Simple Sew Grace Skirt and Dress Pattern. So you've got a couple of different options. You can make the skirt in a pleated version 
or you can do a gathered version. This project is available in a printed pattern from Simple Sew Patterns and it's available in sizes 8 through to 20. So it's not um, the most extensive of size ranges, um, but it is um, a lovely, lovely pattern and I've made numerous different versions. I'm just going to share one with you today. So this is actually made from um, a, a medium weight denim fabric um, in a salmon colourway. So I'm just going to put some footage in in a second so you can see the full length of the skirt. Just to explain a few details details about this skirt. It's got a fitted waistband which I really like and it means that you can tuck in a nice top or a blouse if you want to or maybe even a jumper if it's winter and of course um, you've got quite a lovely flurry skirt as well. So this version has actually got a pleated skirt um, but I have also made this with a gathered skirt in a lighter weight fabric. It works perfectly in a viscose or even um, a cotton poplin fabric or a cotton lawn something like that and um, it's only got um, three pattern pieces for the main um, skirt. So you've got one that you cut on the fold for the front and two for the back section of the skirt. It is finished with a zip at the back um, but then you have also got the waistband pieces as well. So you will need some interfacing um, to stabilise the waistband but apart from that um, yeah it's a really good simple project doesn't come doesn't take long to put together at all. Um, the gathered version is even quicker than doing the pleated version. I've also had a go at making the dress version as well. That is slightly more time consuming because of course you've got to construct the bodice as well as the skirt. But um, the skirt is one of my favorites. As I said, I've made a few different versions and I definitely recommend it to you if you haven't tried it before. I'm just gonna show you the skirt full length. Project number three on my list today is actually the Sew Over It Silk Cami Top the one that I'm wearing. So this is a lovely cami top, it's called the silk cami top but you don't have to make it out of silk obviously, you can make it out of whatever fabric you fancy. I've made mine out of a kind of sateen type fabric um, but I've also tried it in a cotton lawn before. Um, this is a great one if you are an absolute beginner or of course if you're just looking for that quick speedy project maybe um, for a top to go out in or just something to wear over the summer season whatever you're up to. This is a great one because you've got two main pattern pieces, one for the front and one for the back as well. Um, and then you have an option really to include the facing on the inside um, like I've done which uh, makes a lovely finish um, to the garment or you could perhaps try to just finish the neckline and the arm sockets with a bias binding and then maybe just top stitch the hem. Um, I really like this top and um, I've made it two or three times before um, as I said in a, a few different fabrics but this one is my absolute favourite because I just love the um, little bird details all over there and um, yeah I just think this one's super cute it's got a kind of high low hem type detail going on which I shall show you in just a second this pattern is available as a PDF download from the Sew Over It website um, but I believe it has also previously been free in um, a, a, a sewing magazine in the UK can't quite remember when that was um, but I think there are a few different versions kicking about on eBay if you wanted to check that out I did see them earlier myself um, so this pattern is available in UK sizes 6 through to 20 I made mine in a size 10 with no alterations and I'm really pleased with the size it's quite fitted around the upper chest area but then it's um, slightly looser um, in the main part of the bodice and the reason for that is you don't have any complicated openings, buttons, zips, anything like that. It's literally a project that you slot on over your head and away you go. So let me just show you the full length of the top. The next pattern that I wanted to share with you today is, in my opinion, a classic, and this is the True Bias Ogden Cami Top. So this one is available in sizes 0 through to 30, and there's also an option available for kids as well, which is quite fun. So um, this is my version that I've made. Um, I made this oh, a good couple of years ago, but it's still going strong. I love this pattern, um, as I've said about all of these ones in this video, but it is my kind of top little quick list of things, as I said, that you can make for summertime. So I like this um, top because, again, it didn't take too long to make. It only got a couple of pattern pieces, really. You've got the main bodice, the back bodice, and the straps as well, um, which is quite nice. And it's also finished 
very nicely with a facing on the inside. I made my Ogden cami in a size two at the top and then graded out to a three at the bottom. Again, this is a top that you just pop on over your head so you've not got any um, tricky fastenings at all um, with this one. I made mine in quite a lightweight and as you can probably see, quite creasy looking um, viscose type fabric. It's a, a very lightweight um, viscose, so um, depending on what light you're in, perhaps it is a little bit see-through. Um, but that's okay. And um, this is a great top that you can layer underneath a cardigan or a jumper, and potentially you could wear it all year round if you wanted to for those reasons. Um, it does come up um, a decent length, I think, so I'm just going to pop in some full length footage so you can see the length on me. Um, as I said previously, I am quite tall, I'm five foot ten, um, but um, you know, it really depends on um, what your preference is. Um, so you could shorten this if you wanted to or add a little bit of length whatever um, there are some great um, hacks of this top as well kicking around on instagram if you wanted to check those out where people have lengthened these pattern pieces and turned it into a dress you could put a little belt on there um, style it with i don't know a little ribbon around it or something if you um, created a dress version perhaps i think you've got lots of options there so let me just show you the full length Pattern number five that I wanted to share with you today is actually something that I'm currently working on but I think it's going to be really quick and simple to make as well and this is actually a hat project. Now the reason I wanted to make a hat project is that because I'm quite fair I do burn quite easily um, in the sunshine so I thought it'd be quite nice to have some kind of cloth hat that I could just pop in my bag and bring it out whenever I wanted to. So I found the Waves and Wild um, hat pattern which is a um, just a summer hat pattern that's hardly got, again, too, not too many pattern pieces. Um, and I've actually managed to cut mine out of just two fat quarters, plus some interfacing as well. So not too much there at all. So I'm just gonna show you the pattern pieces. So we've got one for the top of the hat, and then you've got one for, got another one for basically the brim of the hat there. And then you've got the hat side pieces as well. So this is a great pattern that you could literally make for all the family if you wanted to. So it starts out at a newborn baby size, but then it goes all the way up to an adult XL size. So you've got quite a lot of choice in there. Um, it does suggest that you measure your um, head before you decide to make your uh, hat up um, to decide which um, pattern size would suit you best. Um, but I think this is gonna be a fantastic project for summer and I can't wait to get this one started. I will of course share some pictures of what this look like, uh, looks like when it's finished over on my Instagram page if you would like to have a look at that. I'm crossing my fingers that I've got this done in a couple of weeks time so it's ready for my holiday. The next pattern on my little list today is the Tilly and the Buttons Bateen Dress. So this one has been around for quite a while and it's a great one again because this is a dress that you can literally just pull on over your head, you can make it in woven fabrics and also you can make it in jersey as well. This version that I'm wearing today is actually made in quite a lightweight Ponte Roma fabric but I like a lot of the details that are included in this one. So it is supposed to be finished with a facing around the neckline but I decided because this is a jersey one just to add on a little neckline of my own there instead, just a little uh, neck band instead. Instead. but it's got some lovely details where you can add on some little tags at the side there or tabs um, and it's finished with elastic around the uh, center of the waist which is quite nice so obviously you can make that as tight or as loose as you want depending on if you're planning on wearing it in summer or winter or whatever or how comfortable you find it and it's also got some lovely pocket details as well but the pockets are actually quite deep um, which is quite nice and um, they go all the way down to sort of that sort of area if that makes sense um, but I really like how it's got the, uh, the elastic finish there and um, I've actually made mine have slightly more of an A-line finish to it um, but of course you can uh, go with the original design instead and um, go with the finish that Tilly suggests in the, in the um, pattern pack as always. Um, Tilly's Patterns are fantastic. If you haven't used them before, I'm sure you probably have. Um, but she really does hold your hand through all of the different steps. And this is one of my uh, favorite patterns from Tilly. I've worn this dress loads and I'm sure I'll continue to do so. I've also hacked it into a t-shirt as well. So I literally used the top of the pattern, which has got grown on sleeves, so you don't have to set in any sleeves or anything like that. And I've just extended the um, bodice piece down um, by a few inches and created a lovely 
floaty viscose t-shirt as well so you have got lots of options with this one just depending on what you fancy trying. The Bettine dress is available from the Tilly and the Buttons website or from I'm sure lots of other sewing suppliers as well online and it's available in sizes 6 through to 20. I made mine in a Tilly and the Buttons size 3 at the top and then I graded out to a size 4 at the bottom and I'm really pleased with um, how the size worked out for me. I do tend to do that kind of size combination when I am making anything of Tilly's that has got um, a slightly more uh, fitter skirt although this one I like I said I've, I've made an A-line skirt so it doesn't matter too much but normally a kind of three on the top and a four on the bottom tends to work quite well for me in Tilly's sizing structure. The next pattern that I wanted to share with you today has become also one of my favourites and this is, is another skirt pattern. So this is the um, Ella skirt by Forget Me Not Patterns and um, it's, it's normally supposed to be made with a zip finish at the back however they've got a very good tutorial on their blog to create this with an elastic waistband instead which makes it quicker to make and you've got uh, three different options I think to actually make this in different skirt lengths and it's got a really cute ruffle round the bottom as well so I've actually gone for the midi length skirt which I shall show you in just a second and this version is made in a lightweight denim fabric and I really really like it this one has got the elastic waistband Hand, um, which makes it just a little bit more comfortable and to be honest I actually got the better fit with the elastic than I did with the uh, zip finish but that might just be my error <laughs> but um, yes I really really like this one and as I said if you follow the blog it does make it quite clear and simple how you actually do the elastic finish um, this can be made in lots of different fabrics anything kind of lightweight and drapey works quite well but also this kind of lightweight denim that I've used um, adds a little bit more structure to to the ruffle at the bottom. So I think you can make this skirt in just a few hours if you've got the time or of course you can stagger your time over a number of evenings or days or whatever works best for you. Um, let me just show you the full length of the skirt. Um, by the way this skirt is available in sizes 28 through to 48. I actually made my skirt in a size 34 so they have got all the sizing information on the Forget Me Not Patterns website so do have a look at that if you would like to. Um, again I will put all the details down below for the blog that I mentioned as well. This is a pattern that's designed for someone who's five foot six in, in height. Um, as I said I'm a bit taller than that but this pattern works fine for me and I haven't add, I've added on any length or anything like that. This is a, definitely a great PDF that you can download at home or you can send off to a copy shop if you want to and um, it's another one that's perfect for summer or to be honest all year round. Let me just show you the full length. The final pattern that I wanted to share with you today is another classic in my opinion and this is a pattern that's been around for quite a while to be honest but it's one that I only recently rediscovered in my pattern box and this is the Tilly and the Buttons Stevie Top and Tunic pattern. So I prefer the top if I'm honest to the tunic pattern but obviously it's up to your personal preference. I made this version in a beautiful viscose fabric and I like that you've got options to either wear the round neckline at the front and the bow detailing at the back or you could wear it the other way around and the reason for that is that this top has got grown on sleeves um, so you don't need to worry basically if you're wearing it the right way or the wrong way but that also makes it quicker to make as well. So this top is finished with a facing on the inside but apart from that um, you've got one main bodice piece and then um, a, a, I think two or three, I think three pieces for the back. Um, basically you sort of create a little opening in the top section so that you can either put on a little button tie or you can actually add on the, uh, the bow tie as well. Um, so it's got not too many pattern pieces to be honest but it comes together really really nicely and I love that you can make this in a few different fabrics you could go for something slightly more stable if you wanted to but personally I think this works best in something that's got a little bit of um, drape to it so as I said this is a viscose fabric and I made this in a Tilly and the Button size 3 so this pattern is actually available in sizes 6 through to 24 and you can also have it as a PDF pattern which you can download from Tilly's website or you can buy it as a printed version as well from I'm sure lots of different sewing suppliers 
online or in person. So I would definitely recommend this one as an easy project to try for summer. And also, to be honest, I do think it's quite stylish and you can actually wear it, you know, tucked into a skirt or loose like I have at the moment. Um, so it's really up to you. I think this is a great one that's gonna look good over jeans or trousers. You can probably wear it for work or at home. Um, I think you've got lots of different choices with this one and lots of different style options as well. Uh, but I do hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and um, maybe I've given you a little bit of food for thought for things that you might wanna make over the summer season if you are perhaps a little bit short on time. I. I often fit my sewing into sort of 10 minutes here and 20 minutes there before I'm making the dinner or when I'm waiting for something to finish off on the cooker or when my baby's gone to bed or whatever, but I don't have long periods of time. So quick projects like I've shared in today's video um, are excellent really for just um, putting together something that you're gonna enjoy wearing, but it's not taken endless amounts of time to actually make. If you have enjoyed watching today, I would love it if you could press that like button if you haven't already. Leave me any comments below that you would like to. Perhaps if you've made any of these projects before, I'd love to know how you found them, if you're gonna make them again, what fabrics you use, that kind of thing. And of course, if you've got any suggestions of things that you think that I'd like to make in the future, I'd love to hear about those as well. As well as any projects that you're working on at the moment that you'd like to share with me, I'm always looking for new inspiration and um, I'm always up for hearing about new things so do feel free to leave me any, any of that below if you'd like to but until next time I'll leave it there and um, coming up I'm gonna have makes videos to show with, to you um, a couple of new patterns I want to make and I've got um, just lots of new content coming soon I do post videos every week so if you do subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell then you won't miss any of my vlogs that I've got coming up but until next time I'll leave it there and I'll see you very soon bye <music>